Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Did Jesus di really die? That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. <clears throat> like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, or an organization, all about the gospel. Keeps us a rolling. A lot of folks do not believe that Jesus actually died. A lot of books, one of the most popular ones was by Dan Brown recently, um, had Jesus surviving the crucifixion. The Gnostics have Jesus sort of, uh, Gnostic gospels have Jesus sometimes sort of holding his breath and sort of faking his death. The Muslims have Jesus ascending before his death because, you know, uh, someone, a prophet, can't die. So did Jesus really die? Um, all of the Gospels, all of them, all of them, all four, witnesses of the resurrection, uh, of the of the death of Christ have um, confess a Jesus who died. Every last one of them. Every last one of them have a Jesus who died. The proof text of uh, all of them saw him die, but um, let's use John's gospel as the best one. Uh, verse John 20 I'm sorry, John 19, 30 has Jesus' death. It is finished. He bowed his head and gave up his spirit. And then it has the soldiers piercing him with a spear, verse 34. But the but when they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead, verse 33. They did not break his legs, but one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and out came blood and water. This is the evidence that Christ died. Um, that he was already dead. That and that is is um, uh, most clearly confessed in in just the the, the you, you in this when blood and water flows out of your pierced heart, not just blood, but blood and water. You're you're not around to see that it wasn't. Uh, that, that 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 that's a bad thing because you're already dead. The Romans specialized in killing people and executing people, and so the idea that somehow Jesus didn't die when they saw blood and water flow, flow from him, when all the gospel writers recorded his death, is to deny many many witnesses that saw him die. Even if you don't believe, even if you um, are not a believer in the gospel of Jesus, even if, if, if that's not something that, that's not your cup of tea, Christianity isn't your cup of tea, you at least need to uh, uh, sort of acknowledge the fact that the writers of the gospels, the writers themselves, the witnesses to the gospels, all believed he died. They all believed he died. They all want to see his hands in his side because they all thought that he died. So again, um, to do these, to be these other things that don't believe that Jesus died is to deny the very witnesses themselves that recorded his death. You have to, you have to treat the, let's just treat them as witnesses. Let's not even treat them as holy books. The, the witnesses say he died. Blood and water flowed. The other two gospel, three gospels record his death. Matthew's gospel goes so far as to have guards placed at the tomb. To have guards placed at the tomb. And those guards that are placed at the tomb after his resurrection lie about what happened. And so the, the idea that somehow... He, he didn't die or that this was, he held his breath or that he ascended beforehand denies the actual witnesses.
to the event. So the answer, did he die? Yes, yes he did. Tomorrow, did he raise? I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.